Hi, friends. Happy autumn. I hope you're having a fantastic week. I wanted to check in. I wanted to share some inspiration and hopefully wisdom with you. As many of you know, I am turning 50 on September 30th. I've talked about it a little bit. And I wanted to share a little bit about the journey of self-acceptance, self-love, celebrating yourself, breaking down what no longer serves you. As we age, as we grow and evolve in the physical form, I think there's many transformations that can, can occur if we choose to allow ourselves to continue to evolve, continue to embrace and celebrate change. Because as we know, we all age and we all die. A lot of us, of course, don't want to think of that. We want to live. We're here to live. We're here to experience. We're here to share. We're here to expand. And for many years, I hid. And I felt very unworthy to fully shine, to fully express who I am as that evolves and changes and transforms. What was important to me 20 years ago, you know, a lot of it is not important to me now. Now there's more that's important to me than was, right? That happens to all of us. I think in our society, though, we're so ageist, especially in America, where everything is about youth and looking perfect and looking young. And I work on that. I work on being very healthy internally being youthful because I feel youthful. I feel joyful some of the time, right? Not all the time. <laughs> there are days where I'm like, no, I'm not joyful today. Of course, you could always find joy wherever you look, wherever you go, especially if you focus on the simple things, nature, people that you love, animals, things that make you happy internally. That can create joy. But I do believe that true joy is something that comes from within, regardless of the circumstances around you. And it's very rare, I think, nowadays to just feel joyful for no reason. And when you do have those moments, that's the true freedom. That's the true peace. I enter a new decade of my 50s releasing the past that no longer serves me, taking wisdom that I have gained through my experiences, through the ups and downs, through the losses, through the abuse that I've experienced. Now it's time to thank everyone that showed up exactly how they were meant to. Now, when I say that, we are in choice as human beings. And that does not give excuses to past abuse or to being treated poorly. Yet at the same time, understanding that people are products of how they were raised, what they came from, whether they were abused or not, whether they might have some chemical imbalances. Yet at the same time, that's where it's up to us to create the boundaries and to teach people how to treat us. And that's where I'm at right now. I'm kind to everyone, yet, if somebody is nasty to me, especially repeatedly, I will go, no, that's not okay, and you will not treat me that way. It took me years to get to that point. I used to just, you know, get energetically slapped or energetically punched and just go, oh, well, and make excuses for that behavior and be the better person. Being the better person now for me is choosing me first because I already am kind. I'm already thoughtful. I'm already generous. Those aren't the things that I have to learn. Now it's saying this decade is about me first, showing up for me, respecting, trusting, loving, honoring, celebrating myself first, and then being able to give to people that are ready to receive that. We're all on our own path in our own time. I don't believe that any soul is better than the other. Although, again, as we show up of who we are in this lifetime, living the human experience, some of us can create a lot of chaos. 
that is then up to whoever is surrounding the chaos to choose whether they want to stay in it or not. I have struggled with growing older, even though I'm youthful and I'm proud of how I look. I work really hard at it. Affirmations and meditation and exercise and nature time and eating healthy and I no longer drink alcohol. I don't smoke. I never did. Uh, I do enjoy medical marijuana and edibles. That's when I want to let loose or relax. Also helps, you know, muscle pain and different things that are occurring. And I love, you know, some sweets and things like that. I'm obsessed with any type of iced tea or hot tea. It's like my favorite thing. I just want to thank you for being here and for sharing with me. And I look forward to many more guests and interviews and sharing with you. Till next time.